hello guys in the previous lesson we have obtained the SS form or the state space presentation form of the field model but <coughs> now we need to focus on how can we add the braking system mechanism on this wheel model and so <coughs> the wheel model is obtained in our efforts and so the braking system is represented by why or how and so if we have this kind of plane and so if we have the braking here and so but in the 3d dynamics and so this kind of shape included in here and so in the standard braking systems in automobile or the any machine the systems are worked like this one we have a uh, some leg or the road value in here road shape and so this road moves to the wheel and so the pressure occurs on the wheel and so the pressure is a slower or the makes the slower the wheel okay and so <coughs> in the general notation or the <coughs> in the engineering approach we can write as the f brake is applied on this wheel by using this road in the automatic braking system or ABC system in the real life car and so <coughs> this much more higher and complicated but the same principle is that the this F is applied on the wheel but in the different direction in, not in X direction the orthogonal direction and so this braking system is slower or this wheel is slower than the normal things okay and so how can we add this braking mechanism on this wheel models in system dynamics <coughs> and so we cannot easily add this f brake because the normal things states that the x position is given by in this distinct but the f brake is included in the perpendicular direction of the x and so we cannot y use this f break on the x value because the geometry does not permit that and so newton states that descartes states that and so how can we add this f break notation this f break can be added by the ct value or c total or damping ratio coefficient but how how is the another matter of the this lesson course because the city can be represented by the notation of the equation mode is that the CT <coughs> equals to F break divided by some constant CB breaking constant in the real life and so if we have the ct value in the zero and so there is no break but the f break is increased and so the ct is increased and so the damping ratio is increased and so the loss energy form is increased and so the wheel is slower than the normal okay and so <coughs> we need to revise our equation form by using this formula techniques and so in the second place we should write down the general formula of our dynamics the dynamics now is that rd and so in the rotational motion form which is represented by the one and so j theta 
dot dot must be equal to what? Torque is given to this system, but the FF friction force of the plane is slower or the reduces the torque value on this plane because we need to move in the translational direction and so the torque is consumed by the rotation and the translational motion but in this case we are the braking system rule and so we need to add the some kind of additional part ct times theta dot because if the braking system is not active and so f brake is not active and so ct is equal to zero but if the braking system is active and so we need to add the ct term as a loss energy form in this notation and so in the expansion form j times theta dot dot must be equal to torque minus f f times r minus f break divided by cb times theta dot cb is obtained the production or the manufacturer in the data sheet values of the designer of the braking systems okay and so the translational motion does not change in this time because the x direction includes only the m x dot dot okay and so in the total form of this equation can be written by or is given by the this form j times theta dot dot must be equal to torque minus m times x dot dot times r minus f break divided by cb value times theta dot and so as you call it x is equal to r dot theta and so x dot is equal to r times theta dot x dot dot is equal to r times theta dot dot and so we can revise this equation j times x dot dot divided by r can be written in this form and so this must be equal to torque minus m x dot dot times r minus f break divided by cb times x dot divided by r and so every form in this notation is given in the form of x directional position or the translational position of these things and so if we reorganize this equation with the correct form and then we will get the x dot dot parenthesis times what m times r plus j divided by r okay and so this term is putting in the left hand side and so the x dot times parenthesis what <coughs> f break divided by cb <coughs> times r was given in here and so these whole terms must be equal to the torque value this is our notation of the wheel model with the braking system analogy okay and so what about the transfer function and the state space representation transfer function cannot be done in this form because the whole notation which means that the this value is given by what this value is represented by m x and so this is the dummy variable and arbitrary variable in order to simplify this notation in here and so this is the c x value but this c x value is dependent of the time or dependent of the f break value and so the c equivalent value may change in time 
with respect to the f break variable okay and so we cannot done to create a transfer function form of this notation and so if we try to create a state space presentation and then we can create it in the right correction form okay and so if we copy off this equation in here in order to gain some time system ss form and so this is the our equation of motion form in here the mx can be rewritten in here and so the mx is written in here the c x is written in here and so in order to create a state space presentation form we need to organize this equation with the terms of x dot dot must be equal to what torque times 1 m x minus or plus x dot times 1 c x but minus 1 is given in here and so we need to create this term and so this term should be rewritten in the form of c x minus in here and divided by m x okay so this form is identical with this one but the x dot dot must be alone in the at the one hand side okay and so if we try to create a state space form we need to write the dummy variable in here z1 must be equal to x z2 must be equal to x dot z1 dot must be equal to z2 and z2 dot is equal to what and so z2 is equal to torque times 1 m x value plus x dot is equal to what z2 and so z2 times minus c x divided by m x and so in the state space presentation form we can write it down as the form of what z dot is equal to a z plus b torque or the input value this notation does not change in any system okay and so the mathematical notational rules does not change and so it is the beautiful form for the system dynamics models okay and so <coughs> if you write the z1 dot and z2 dot in here as a vector and so a matrices can be given by 0 1 value and so in the second place 0 minus c x divided by m x times what z1 z2 okay because the z1 dot is only equal to the z2 and so the first term 0 the second is 1 and so z2 is the z2 dot does not include z1 and so this must be 0 and then the z2 is here and so minus c x divided by m x should be written in here and so what about the input value and so the first term does not include the torque value but in the second term 1 m x should be written in here with the time of torque value okay this is the braking system analogy modeling of the wheel system okay and so the theory the theory or the theoretical studies are done and in the next session we will proceed with the MATLAB simulating application 
in order to implement both these two models in the MATLAB programming language.